I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Ryan Kennedy. He's co-founder and CEO at Adam Power. Ryan, wonderful to have you on the show. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Pleasure, and I'm looking forward to chatting. But before we get started, quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Ryan, we hear quite a bit about energy transition. What's your definition of this, and why are we hearing about it? Um, so the energy transition, we think, is ultimately the electrification of everything. Um, it's got a few definitions that have kind of evolved over time from new ways of generating electricity, new ways of using it, things like this. But we kind of boil that down into basically um, everything becoming electrified, particularly in the vehicle markets, uh, which has a tremendous impact. We, we believe it's a once in a century event that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, that's more or less what it is and, and where atom power comes into play. Okay, so tell me, how are you addressing some of the needs of the energy transition? So if you, if you look at just its, its fundamental, um, you know, fundamentally moving an enormous amount of energy from fossil fuels into what ultimately boils down to electrical wires, um, there's some things to consider. Um, so, you know, consumption primarily is what drives everything, you know, the consumption of electricity. It sounds kind of obvious, you know, you make something, you deliver it, you consume it. Mm -hmm. So I would say that really what we've done is been able to look at the most core principle which says that if you have a level of control of the consumption of energy, then you have a level of control over the impact of electrifying everything. So you either have to generate more electricity um, or you do, you have a smarter way of using it. And so what we did is we took a look at that, that just that fundamental fact that says the consumption of electricity, if it's managed well at scale, um, can prevent having to build large-scale generation uh, in many ways. So we decided to uh, look at the core element of all the electrical systems out there, and we boiled it down to at every level where there is something consuming electricity, HVAC or electric vehicles or lights, there's physically a circuit breaker ahead of every single thing on the planet that consumes electricity. So every electric vehicle charger you see has a circuit breaker ahead of it. Every HVAC unit has a circuit breaker ahead of it. So what we said was, is the way to have universal control of energy at scale is to make the thing that's already in the system really, really smart, the circuit breaker. Um, to do that is a lot harder um, than describing it. Okay. So we had to take the path of making the circuit breaker into a digital product, which okay. today is purely a mechanical product. Uh, for those who have homes, who have seen a, or apartments who have seen the circuit breakers in the, in the panel board sometimes, they're, mm -hmm. they're little switches, you know. And uh, so we, we have effectively commercialized a semiconductor-based product that now you can make the circuit breaker itself software-defined mm -hmm. and tell it what it is which is what we're doing today in the electric vehicle charging markets. So we, we basically, at our core, we do charge vehicles with our stuff, and our stuff is circuit breakers. Um, but we do it through the circuit breaker itself. Instead of making like electric vehicle chargers, we mm -hmm. tell the circuit breaker to be that through okay. software. So now, what does your technology look like at scale? So our major market today is electric vehicle charging infrastructure, so charging vehicles at scale. Um, the future for us as we see it is that the same level of visibility and control we're doing today uh, with our product in the vehicle charging market is um, applicable to every industry. Uh, so data centers, um, you know, industrial, commercial, residential. So at scale, um, we are headed towards ultimately a unified product platform that you can use the same circuit breaker product in any of those environments, which is not the case today, mm -hmm. which effectively unifies the visibility and control of the energy. And at scale, that has a tremendous impact on the um, energy transition because at, you have large scale energy management and visibility capability, which we don't have today. Today, we, only, we, only, we see things at a very macro level, like how much electricity is being consumed in a state right. <laughs> or maybe a county mm -hmm. but there's nothing that we have today that says well how much electricity is being consumed not just in that state in that county in this city related to 
HVAC or data centers or electric vehicle charging. Mm -hmm. That's where having a unified singular product that you need to buy anyway or you need to have in the system anyway can create that level of visibility and ultimately control for both utilities and consumers. Uh, has very, very broad reaching applications across the entire um, spectrum of electrification, but always at the point of consumption, which is the most important element. Wow, fascinating. Yeah. All right. Well, Ryan, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you.